Thanks for dressing up, Jared. <laughs> Wrong universe, but we'll work with it. So this talk title really came as a joint effort between Zach and myself. Um, so let's look at the Marvel API. <laughs> My name is Juan Vasquez. Um, here are Eric, where you can find me, uh, jvasquez.com, or javasquez.com is my website, uh, WordPress blog, at javasquez on Twitter, and then my GitHub information. So here's the developer site for Marvel API. So this was released, I feel like it was a couple months ago, and I was really stoked to, to use it since I'm a big comic book fan. And I went to their site, and it's, it's really well done as far as the API and the documentation. And I'll show you, I'll, sh I'll walk you through it. But this is the portal today. If you went there, you can get started. Get signed in, create a new account, or use one of your existing accounts. This happens to be my account here. I'm a fan of the Hulk. <laughs> And once you're in, you'll get a developer account with your credentials that you can use. And right now, at this time, it's 3,000 calls a day. They're working towards, if you want to privatize it, there's a lot of, you'll want to read the rules on what they're allowing you to do with their APIs. Um, essentially, you, you need to give at, attribution. You need to give sentences that say, hey, this is Marvel's <laughs> API. <laughs> Words that come out of mouths. <laughs> So this happens to be my information here, but I blocked out the important bits. You get, when you go to the documentation, you'll be greeted with this page, and it kind of tells you what's going on with the information on that page. Not important, but here's the important, important stuff. This is just a screenshot of some of the APIs you can get. Um, and characters is the first one, so I went ahead, and the next one is it gives you all the information that you need there, and it's interactive, so you, once you log in, it'll start using your uh, API key to, to send it. So um, you can see counts. Uh, they limit to 100 per request, so they have to do some pagination and make your requests dynamic to handle that, if that's what you want to do. So great, I have this API. What, what am I going to do with it? Query, first thing I wanted to do and I'm still going to work towards is like an inventory, personal inventory system for myself so that I can inventory my stuff and, and do that. And then I thought, wow, man. So I just spent a week going through some Node books and, okay, I know Node, let's, let's try a small hobby project with Node. So after a week of spending time with Node, this API was available and I thought, okay, I'll do something with that. And it's like, okay, yeah, let's do that. And then I thought, wouldn't it be fun to battle bad guys? with your closest online friends, right? I'm like, okay, what does that look like? Um, well, probably want to fight some bad guys. So let's start off with Magneto. All right, you know, everyone knows him. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. But what if you're with your friends and, you know, Magneto's kind of great for maybe four or five friends. And you think, oh, wait, what if we have more than five friends? Let's say, like, more than five friends, but less than 40 friends. Well, let's, let's fight Onslaught, that'd be great. But what if you have more than 40 friends? Who, who do you fight then? Like, what? Galactus. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. So, all right, we'll take the APIs, we'll I'll wrap it with Node and Socket.js and throw it on Heroku and see what, see what happens. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll make it mobile friendly. Let's do that. <laughs> so let's let's take a look at what that might look like with a weekend type project. So we'll pick a screen name. We'll pick a chat room called Battle Room for this for this game. Um, any JS in your character you can play. And so all right, Magneto. That's our, our guy. Here's our two. These are. This is one session here just to show that you know I gave the, the health to the. Obviously Hulk is losing because he's negative 290, and over here it's a different screenshot because he's negative 920. But here's the here's Magneto. He's the bad guy because I only had two clients running at the time. And here's the chat. So whenever someone comes in, it'll say, "Hey, I'm vowing allegiance in the battle," just so you know who's entering the the room. 
and then you can chat back and forth between everyone that jumps on there. And then my needle, obviously, there's a timer, he attacks, and uh, I recorded a laugh, so he'll laugh as he attacks you. <laughs> if you've got 40 windows running and it's just constantly laughing, <laughs> anyone in the room will get annoyed with you really quickly, so I'll have to figure out how to turn that off. But right now, if you play, that's what you listen to. So, what did I use to, to do this? I had Angular, Heroku, Socket.io, and Node. Um, that's QA, we can do that, but I can show a live demo here if everyone's interested. Yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and I didn't, oh, there's, there's the URL. Folks didn't grab that mm -hmm. earlier. So I'll, I'll give you a second or two to. Yesterday, so I didn't get a chance to, to play with it. So, <laughs> see, and okay, so then, so you can. The, the dialogue sucks. I know that, but I just wanted some feedback. How do you get seven thousand health? <laughs> he's almost dead. <laughs> keep fighting. Keep fighting. All right, he's dead. Yes. Now he's resetting. No. Now he's dead. Interesting. So, <laughs> that's, so I've got some mechanics to work out with the life and the attacks, but we can do this here because I know that. Let's do this. Well, I don't have to do that since we're pressed for time, but. Somebody's really getting <laughs> shit. Cookie clicker. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, somebody, Marcus, thanks for talking in the chat. Oh, you vowed allegiance, that's what I saw. So, is there any questions? Just thought it was a fun little app to put together and then talk about it. If anyone had questions on it. It somehow managed to lose my screen name. It lost your screen name? I tried to call myself Rawr. <laughs> Pull request welcome. <laughs> yeah, I'll be putting this up as soon as I clean up a few things in the code, but um, that's all I had to talk about. Yeah? Are you going to be doing the uh, uh, like catalog thing that you were talking about? Yeah, I, I will be. Are you going to like productize that and make it open? Like, um, it, I would like, I'd love to. It depends on what the, the license agreement is with Marvel as far as um, what, what you can monetize, what you can't. That makes sense. Uh, if it turns out they won't let me monetize it, I'll just throw it up on GitHub for folks to use. I'd rather have people using that than what's available now, because if you walk around what's available today, um, most people that walk around the, the shops have a piece of paper with, with what they want to get. Uh, maybe they have their phone, but usually it's just written down notes of which ones they're going to go pick up, like their pull list. Um, so that would help with that too. And I don't feel like what I've seen so far has been um, very attractive for me to use. So that's kind of one of the other reasons that I wanted to write the yeah. catalog type system. Their API has like upcoming issues? I'm sorry? Their API has upcoming issues? Upcoming issues? Yeah, you were talking about poll list, so. Oh, poll list in regards to like when you go to a. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, when, you, when you go to a, a, like a comic shop, you're going to have a piece of paper that says, these are the comics that I want. And it's sort of like digitizing that, right? Right, right. And, if you are a regular customer for a comic book shop, they'll they'll create a list for you and they call it the pull list. So every week you go in and they have your list for you. So they pull it off the shelf and they call it their pull list. So that when you come in, it's already set aside for you. How come I keep dying? <laughs> <laughs> because you're yeah. wearing Batman. 
<laughs> Batman doesn't have any powers. <laughs> <laughs> if you pick a different uh, battle name, then you, you won't die as quickly. It's just because we have, there's a multiplier in there with how many people are in the chat room that the bad guy gets stronger. So the next steps, if I were to continue doing this, would be to to kind of go the traditional route, allow one of them to heal others and you know do that sort of thing. And, up the life because once you get to onslaught and we can get to Galactus, I, I haven't actually gotten there yet because I hadn't opened enough sessions to do it. But uh, he would just destroy everybody. He would just be unreal right now. <laughs> but he is a world leader, so what are you gonna do? Any other questions? That's what you're gonna do. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much.